All right, greetings, hacksters. Today in the studio, we have a very exciting new friend to show you. It's actually still in this package here, the new Microbit V2. You're probably already familiar with the original Microbit, which was designed by a consortium of hardware companies, along with the BBC, as a modern version of the BBC Micro, a computer that they released back in the day to teach children how to code. And this is the hardware equivalent of that, introducing kids to coding. This little thing is a technical marvel already, and there are vast numbers of reinterpretations and accessories available, including these kits from KittenBots for upgrading your little micro bit. You can give it a little personality here with a diffused version of the LED grid. You've got servo breakouts like these two guys from Kitronic and Kittenbot. This other one from Kittenbot, which incorporates an 18650 battery cell as well as programmable LEDs and a ton of servo breakouts. And then also the Adafruit Clue, which was sort of a souped up version with a screen instead of your 5x5 grid that can do machine learning out of the box. This one also has some random stuff attached to it <laughs> for various experiments. A mic and speaker and an RGB LED on the back. So let's open up this new one, which actually incorporates some of the same upgrades. Ooh, what's this? Is this a little paper character we can... Oh. Oh, it's for a battery. Cool. Okay, so here it is. The prima donna itself. We've got a blue version. Ooh, and matte black this time. <laughs> so classy. The pins look much the same. On the front, you've still got that 5x5 LED grid. And now the pins have a little bit of an indentation here to help you with the crocodile clips. Now, this was a big thing that I had with the old micro bit was that when you try to attach the crocodile clips, they'll sort of like swing around and impact the other pins. And that's no good. You don't want to get shorts that way. So this has an extra physical feature to help with that, which is pretty cool. Otherwise, the front is pretty much the same. On the back, you still have your battery connector, your USB for programming and power. You've got your reset button. And these same two little pads over here, which are actually for attaching another kind of power supply if you want to. Aesthetically, it's pretty marvelous as well. You've got a lot of things mounted on a diagonal, including your antenna. But you've got massive upgrades in the forms of a MEMS microphone and a buzzer, which is built right into the board. No more trying to awkwardly solder on a speaker, which may or may not actually work. And it can actually detect what words you're saying, not even just a sound level which is pretty incredible for such a tiny basic board. Not only that, but they've made this the same price as the original, even though this one is much more souped up. So that's very exciting. You've also now got an integrated touch sensor, which is sort of hidden. It is embedded in this micro bit logo on the front here. Kind of a cool secret detail. Let's take a look at the Hackster article for some more details. Gareth notes that there's also a more powerful SOC in here. Uh, the less visible upgrades to the board include more memory. And oh, I didn't notice that there's a little a light up microphone next to this sort of through hole that permits the MEMS microphone to pick up sound through the front of the board. That is so cool. See that little red light up mic icon? Very cool. As Gareth notes, we've now got 512 kilobytes of flash storage up from 256, and RAM has gone up from 16 to 128 kilobytes, as well as upgrading the Bluetooth from 4.0 BLE to 5.0 BLE. We also have a USB bridge processor upgrade, as well as 200 milliamps of available current for external hardware as compared to 90 milliamps previously. With all of this, anything you write for the new board will be backwards compatible with the previous version. If you're using Microsoft Make Code or MicroPython or any other development system, you may need to recompile your code, so re-download it. You can't just load a hex file that you had previously saved to your computer onto the new board, but once you recompile it, you'll be able to download that file onto either version of the micro bit, which is pretty sweet. You can go to microbit.org slash new dash microbit, which is linked in the description below to find out more about this in a very beautiful user-friendly kind of way. It also has a power saving mode, which I'm pretty excited about, especially if you want to run something like this off of solar power. They have some demo examples down here and a link to the tech website for the developer community where you can find out more about developing your own accessories for the microbit, as well as exact specs for everything from the hardware to the software and other types of compatibility. I would like to note that this board is primed for machine learning. In fact, we already have an example from Yan Yongboom 
about how to do this on the micro bit, which is ridiculous. So you can go from zero programming to block programming to AI powered voice recognition and spoken word detection all on the same device. Find the link to that in the description as well. Of course, we already have a ton of microbit projects on the Hexter website. Just go to hexter.io slash microbit. You don't have to put the colon in and check out everything our community has already been developing. I could see this instrument tuner having a good upgrade. And some of these are just incredible. But that's not all that's in the package. We also get a little microbit programming and power cable, micro USB, a battery holder, which looks like it holds two AAAs, and some getting started materials. Shake. Tilt, plus a tiny little micro bit sticker. Adorbs. Okay, so let's plug this thing in and see it go. Oh, right off the bat, it's making some noise. <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> uh, what a cute little thing. Oh, shake. That's pretty great. Tilt, okay. Oh no, it's a snake game. I'm so bad at these. <laughs> well, if you don't think that's an adorable demo, then you are a liar. The first thing I'm going to do is check out that Edge Impulse demo from Jan. I might start by building a little companion robot that can talk back to me. And then I'm going to have to update my skateboard, I guess. The new microbit comes out in November, so stay tuned. Share your own ideas for what to build, especially with machine learning. And as always, hack on. Yeah.